<laughs> and there we go. Ruby weapon defeated. Let me just see what I've got equipped before I charge in there. Obviously start off with two dead people for this, this method. Now I've tried to keep it to a minimum grinding. So, um, okay, they've got quite a high level. But I've only got Knights of the Round to level two. So I've put him on a double weapon. So the AP will grow that because it does need to at least be level three to be Emerald Weapon. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. We've got Hades for it as well. So we've got a W summon twice. That can use both of these. Which is key because we need to be using Hades and Knights of the Round at the same time. No one else really matters. Just make sure you don't have your counter materials on. Make sure you take them all off. Um, one other important thing is we have two mine materials. We mastered that. Doesn't really take too long to master, to be honest. But yeah, let's get to it. It's a bit of chance, really. He could um, could backfire, and he could end up defeating us. But I think this is his ass. Now we're going in with one person, just uh, obviously, so he brings his tentacles straight up. Otherwise, we can't do anything to him anyway. Which is totally pointless. And believe it or not, as incredible as this boss is, he is, um, Quite easy to paralyze. Shit. We'll just get ourselves set up before we start attacking. Uh, there are some issues, obviously, that can happen, and that comes in the form of being made petrified and things like that which we do not really want to happen, that will fuck us right up um, we could do have a wall being put up a barracks job keep him dazed for a little while Now if you use Knights of the Round or something like that, he'll usually counter immediately with Ultima, which is really bad. But if he's paralysed like that, he won't. Which is obviously what we want. Which is why, when we do this, we go for Hades and then Knights of the Round, because Hades will uh, paralyse him. Although if he's currently paralysed, I don't think it'll work, but it should be okay on this first one. But now, we have our barrier set up, and we have a region on. So, we don't need to do anything else, and because we're not going to counter, nothing's going to interfere. So we can just keep miming. And you just have to ignore Sid, don't defend or anything like that, just, you know, just leave him there, skip his go, and wait for the next person's um, go, and then literally swap to them, and just keep miming. That's all we have to do, really. As long as you time it. Uh, a few helpful things. Obviously, put put like a fire armlet on one of them, and a fire ring on another one. Because one of his common moves is like that ruby flame. It's quite help helpful if that actually heals you. So, yeah, if you have like the elemental materia, something like that, and you want to. Organise it so you can get healing off it, that'd be really helpful. Depends how you really want to. There's, there's quite a few strategies of fighting this boss. Um, I'm just doing this one really because I don't have to level anything else up any further. This is like the minimum requirement. Unless you 
get yourself um, not perfectly on the lucky sevens, but <laughs> which you can easily do for any of It's not hard to get the lucky seven. Right, and now we just wait and mine. Mine. We just got an old one. This time he will be. Uh oh. No, it doesn't do anything else, and we're literally just gonna wait, and we're gonna keep miming. So. Speed this up. Actually, I can. Um. So yeah, you get the idea. Like I said, it's just important when you get to your next player, don't mind straight away. It's, it's good to wait for him to start moving again and then do it quickly. But chances are he's, he might attack you in between, which isn't good, obviously. But just make sure you don't do anything else. Don't heal. You know, don't even throw a potion or anything like that because mine literally will copy it which is a good thing as well mine is, is really good like if you're against any weapon and you run out of your knights of the rounds with um, cloud you can mine omni slab over and over and over again <laughs> which is quite good Okay, and Cloud's just doing quite a lot of damage as well. The only problem with doing it this way with Hades is it does take quite a few quite a few rounds. As if you if you've leveled your material up a bit further, you can just do double nights of the round and then mine that. So obviously you do a hell of a lot more, you do six per one, but he'll like I say he'll keep attacking you, so you have to then keep Keep waking yourself up again with final attack beams. You start and start it. Because you will eventually kill you. Luckily at the moment, we've um We've got another Knights of the Round that we can use. Just wait a little while for him to move. because the Hades won't affect him otherwise and then you'll definitely get the Ultima whereas at least this way okay you might still get an Ultima but oh see look that's nowhere near as bad oh petrification is bad though but yeah like an Ultima immediately after the video will just kill this No, it's real cool really, I mean, I've done it before where I've just I've rushed it and done it really quickly and it's been quite close. This way seems a little safer sometimes. It's been quite a long battle, it's really annoying when you can beat it and you get all that way and then you lose. <laughs> Especially when it comes down to something silly. There's nothing he can do, especially when we have a little bit of barrier left. So we'll just do it again straight away. We'll just speed it right up. For Barrett's sake, we might be able to get another round out of him.
maybe I'll get an ultima, but we will survive it. I think even if our barrier runs out. Still got region on. Hey, straight in there then. Right on that. And you get power <laughs> So here we go, like the toughest boss in the game. Just got a little bit of clever manipulation in the interior, reduced to uh, an absolute like, statue. Hasn't really hit us that many times. Hasn't really caused much danger yet. Although the hard bit is, the hard bit is coming up. It's going to be when our barrier runs out and it starts attacking us too hard. We will obviously have to. Sort of reset it all, put up another barrier, put up another region. Yeah, because barrier is now stopped. So we're down to one. Though it doesn't necessarily make it much slower, it's still the same round. So it's only, you know, it's only sort of seconds slower. Whatever you do. Don't go to soft that in because it will ruin your mind. You have to do nothing. And he might, it's not as I might even attack him again. I don't think an ultimate will kill us. It's one of the ones we might just have to see. <laughs> Hopefully not. This barrel is the guy that casts our wall as well, so we haven't got that anymore. I don't think we have an enemy skill equipped. We've got selective with our material. We don't have to worry, we get 50,000 AP for the food we have And that's not enough to upgrade our Knights of the Round one more time. So that's why it's on a double, double growth material slot. Because like I said at the beginning, <coughs> it's quite important we have... <coughs> Uh, at least three. Like the more the merrier really for oh my weapon. Um emerald weapon sorry. But like I said we can quite easily give ourselves all lucky sevens, which I might do. Just a tutorial for doing that. At this rate, we won't even have to cast it again. I would, I would recommend saving it just in case the mine does get broken. Don't be tempted to just throw it in there just to try and speed it up. It might bite you in the ass. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. Ruby weapon defeated. Pretty easy. Didn't um didn't really cause us much trouble at all. Fuck yeah! Look at all of that. The desert rose. <laughs>